The Dead Internet Theory is an online conspiracy theory that asserts that the internet consists mainly of bot activity and automatically generated content, minimizing organic human activity, aka everything is made and done by AI. Do you want more followers and subscribers without putting an actual work but don't want to rely on other people? Use old accounts, buy some sub bots or follow bots. This isn't a guide, you're dumb if you actually buy this kind of shit. Or AI training software browsing the foul depths of Reddit for research or actually dangerous and serious offenses that only cause more harm. Yeah, those are examples of bot activity in the internet, which in 2016 consisted of half of the overall internet activity in the world. I wonder if this cat is still work today. Well, it's working for me. This is just testing my patience. However, this wild theory that the internet is literally full of robots seems a bit over exaggerated. I mean, sure, half or maybe even more today, but not mainly. Automatically generated content has exploded in popularity thanks to AI training software stealing or borrowing other people's images and art and trying to replicate one's prompt with the knowledge they gain from other people's work and producing a cheap knockoff of different vibes into the described image that the user wants to display. It moved from images to voices to experience to little filmography and it kind of sucks. What makes good art good is that the art is able to give you an experience or make you resonate with what is provided to you. But if what is provided to you is just a weird blob of combined art styles of different ambitions and goals of different people, it kind of feels like the confused DNA of a food or genetically modified food, like a corn chip. It might taste good, but it's not healthy for your weight. That's, that that uh, kind of was a pretty good analogy. It's pretty much just my personal viewpoint, but you are allowed to appreciate AI generated content. But to me, it's just, it's just cringe. I've generally avoided the topic of AI content for a very long time. Simply put, it's very controversial, but I just don't care about AI generated content. I'd rather ignore that kind of brand in the internet. But it has got to the point where I see artificial intelligence throughout everything I search for in the internet, especially advertising. So I couldn't really ignore it anymore and did this video. To my surprise, the opinion against AI content is actually far more appreciated than I expected. I thought that there would be people defending AI content in some way, but there was little to none. So I became much more critical of AI content. Which leads us to this video. The title is pretty much just a play on words renaming the dead internet theory to the dead YouTube theory cause that's what the video is about. And let's be honest, making a YouTube video is quite hard. You have to make the idea, make some sort of script or structure to the video, record yourself, edit the video, and then upload the video with tags, description, title, oh why not make bots do it all. Just hop on Google Translate or something, paste that script in, and let that robot just sweet talk you into sleep. And just hop on some auto edit website, text that video, and get another robot to post your video to YouTube, and it blows up, right? <laughs> right? In reality, who in the hell would want to actually continue watching a video that has a robot blasting in your ear as stock footage walls in? Except if it's short. The thing about short is that it's like Facebook. You just scroll endlessly and endlessly without much thought. I suppose to YouTube where you have to click a video that you find somewhat more interesting than the other videos and continue watching it until you get bored and scroll endlessly in shorts. Now you honestly should get whatever YouTube throws at you in shorts. Doesn't matter if it doesn't line up with your interests, YouTube will just give you a kid drawing skibbity toilet because why not? And recently I've been getting recommended shorts of AI generated pictures of, you know what, just world clips. <clears throat> so I have accumulated a bit of videos that are kind of similar to each other in a way. This is basically just like my recommendations and I just like pile them up into a playlist and I'm only gonna do 14 because I know like if I do more I'll just derail this video. I just not so what AI generated content looks like in YouTube that is like shit. You can basically see like it's just like this AI generated like images with like city transitions and um I just, I just rather like skip this, but like in a way, it's like, what the fuck am I even like seeing? And oh yeah, this shit, this shit is pissing me off. This is the worst kind of content I've ever fucking seen in my life. Like this is so trash. Like it's just, what is this? Like what? Why is he made out of bones? Like Jesus Christ. And the song, and the song. I don't even know what song is that, but like, this kind of fucking combination of music and video just makes me want to hate cats. 
Like I used to be a cat lover, but like I I changed my mind. I'm sorry. Also, I just I just, I just find out that like, cat lovers are like just like it's a psychotic. Like no offense if you like cats or anything, but like the majority of people that I met that kind of like it's their personality or like I don't know, have a cat pop up picture. They just it is not it, man. It's funny because they always have like a different language, but like the tags are always like English or something. Like it's weird. You can see like you can see like right here like the AI just fucked up here because because the cat is is cat head but like the pants are like a oh, man like it's so I just don't get it and I don't get I don't get why you should make this like I just don't understand the, the motives behind it. <laughs> okay okay, life tip for you all of you drivers out there. If you see a moose in the front of the fucking road, you have the right to like, crash your car or something because those moose are fucking made out of brick. But like, if you see a reindeer or a deer coming towards you in a car, just fucking bang him! Like, it's not worth your fucking car. Like, it's just gonna fling over, dude. Like, it doesn't matter. Yeah, oh no, the marriage is ruined because some fucking stupid driver, dude. Wait, what? Honestly, honestly, the honestly, that's a good story. Props to that guy for taking that guy's role because I would not want that to be my husband. <laughs> Sit, driver. Honestly, it's always so weird. Like it's, it's like it's like it's like usually it's like only two or like one cast, but everyone else is human. Like I, uh, we got one more here. We got one more here, dude. Like it's four hundred. Guys, I'm I'm done. I'm done making videos. I'll just do AI. Didn't get done. I don't even know anymore. I'm. I'm just considering everything with humanity has ever done. Like this, this, this is the epitome of humanity, dude. Like we had to fucking launch ourselves to moon. That's how we can make this kind of stuff. Like why, why is this like the next step to our? F oh my, I, I just don't get it. Like it's, it's always a car crash, dude. It's always a car crash. Like something car related. I I push you? What in the fuck? Bad stories, except I I I've always said this every fucking time that I come across this stupid fucking topic. Do not give your child a fucking device at a very young age. Just please don't. Like I know it's very hypo hypocritical because I've I've i am a product of that shit. I'm a product of like when I was like around seven or eight, I I had a device and then I was just watching YouTube. But please. Don't give them an iPad, like any other device, just don't give them an iPad. Like, it's such a dumb idea. First of all, it's probably bigger than their heads, and second of all... But with a with phone, at least you're gonna be like, I don't know, like a fucking cool game, or like, I don't know, like an esports player. But no, dude, this... It is iPad, kids. Giving your child a device for them to not distract you is not parenting at all. Like, please treat your fucking children with care for once. I've, I've already made a series about this, please! Stop! Do I need game? I'm I'm done. I'm I'm just done, dude. Like I'm just I'm just done, dude. Like it's all just slop circle jerking, dude. Like it's I'm giving up. I'm giving up so badly. Oh, that was actually a sad uh, sad ending, dude. Like, like no, it's like he doesn't get better. He just he just draw he just draws he just copes. Oh no, I got the feelings now. Oh, no, it's so sad. But if you being a YouTuber for almost three years, I can certainly say that making videos takes a long time. <laughs> but if you just want to throw out the most dog shit cast gravity videos imaginable, then just get AI to do everything. From making the video, to posting the video, to customizing the video, let's be honest, YouTube content creation has many steps. So it does make sense to get someone else to do some aspects of a video in order to be more efficient or creative. But if you just don't want to do any aspect in content creation at all, why even commit to make videos? Let's get a fucking degree where high paying jobs are located at. I'm sure you've seen YouTube channels like this before, with 
thousands and millions of subscribers and views. These channels are known as YouTube automation or also known as YouTube faceless channels. I'm going to break down exactly how you can start your own YouTube channel automation business. But to get started, I have a list of six free tools that are going to allow you to start creating YouTube videos automatically. Now, when I say automatically, I don't mean you're just going to press one, two, three, four, and a YouTube video is created. But what we're looking for is to be able to create YouTube videos relatively quickly and efficiently using the help of AI. Now, I don't mean to disrespect this guy. He seems like someone who is pretty knowledgeable at content creation. But the entire meaning of automation is literally no human intervention. He is literally creating the video by himself. Plus the video does not go into how the video is actually presented to YouTube. So the settings and all of that, it's, it's, it's just nonsense I guess. Before you decide to start YouTube automation, you should know the unfiltered truth. But one day, some lazy genius decided to try posting a video without ever getting in front of the camera. Instead, this lazy mastermind recorded his voiceover from the comfort of his underwear and edited in some stock footage that resulted in millions of views and boom YouTube automation was born <gasps> oh my god why is he describing like fucking leafy's origin like it's a big bang it's so weird I like how just not featuring your face in a video is now some sort of automation that's such a dumb way to call putting fucking stock footage on your videos also holy fuck talk about overusing the damaged film effect like I know it gives the effect of some sort of film graphic vibe but it's literally fucking giving people a free experience on how visually disabled people watch videos are you ready to uncover the secrets to building a monetizable faceless YouTube channel with AI automation? This YouTube channel is raking in over $9,000 per month by uploading simple YouTube. In just a few seconds, you'll be able to see the fantastic outcome of our awesome riddle. They all sound the fucking same. All right. I don't know how people can actually fucking handle doing the same copy and pasting videos of useless videos and be satisfied with like 93 views and an empty stomach. Like I get that these people just don't want to do a 9 to 5 job and that's completely fine. What isn't fine is investing in the scammy yet short term money hack that is providing no real writing or editing skills and are trying to sell $50 courses on how to use fucking basic editing software. Like I'm not putting bad faith in them but one month of literally just your videos not receiving any views, it's back to working in a 9 to 5 to at least afford soap. Reminder, this job requires the attention of people's retention. So if let's say you do this part time and nobody watches your content for a good month, if you live an extravagant life or just like a very costly life with just being food average necessities and getting like in place in the right? Probably don't have enough money to survive day to day necessities. Literally, the only thing that makes content creation any sort of money is recognition. People get famous from making content and they get a ton of consistent viewers or financial partnerships. If you just make riddle swords all fucking day, nobody's gonna turn into your other works. Like, it gives the algorithm a godship to these people. Like, it literally makes the algorithm fucking control how these people fucking eat food. In conclusion, I think at this point, anything about the internet can be called as dead. Doom scrolling your scrollable apps for hours just to find any sort of stimuli from other people's experience of living instead of living yourself because that shit is so fucking expensive nowadays. I think I made myself clear about my thoughts on content farms. They suck. They just suck ass. Pumping the same oversaturated video over and over again, all just to get those view count pumping. Now I have danced around the core meaning of what a content farm really is, but if I have to give you an actual content farm, It'll probably look something like this. In October of last year, I received a DM on Discord from fellow YouTuber BritMonkey. It was a YouTube link with the comment, sus. The video happened to be on the same topic as my recent video on Pareidolia, and the thumbnail had an eerie resemblance to mine. Weird. I watched through it and it was basically the same video, but it was different. The visuals were all crappy stock footage, the writing was stilted, and it felt like he was just reading Wikipedia. He discussed all the same ideas I did in my video, and also in the exact same order. It was also clear to me that the video was copied straight from mine. In my video, I talked about the ambassador's painting as a sidebar, and mentioned anamorphosis, a type of visual perception. But when he talked about it, he made it sound like anamorphosis was specifically a variety of pareidolia. 
That indicates that this guy, or rather this AI, has no actual understanding of the subject matter and is just trying to repackage the same thing. Duncan Clark had made an amazing video covering the topic of YouTube content forums more properly than this video and has covered the topic of the dead internet theory in the past so go check that out if you want a more deeper dive into the topic itself. But going back to the video, it's no doubt that people can just copy a layout of a video to just pasting a video into a script making website and just rip it off. And then if the original content is even recognizable, most times it's just general knowledge that was just copy pasted from AI generated scripts. And it's probably a script that is probably the most boring shit imaginable. And unfortunately, people are already falling victim to this sort of content, whether being stolen by or wasting time watching worthless content. And this is one of those issues where YouTube themselves just can't do much on. Like you can't just ban people from posting content with some sort of AI detected. It's just how it's used that is causing the issue. And if you really want to avoid any sort of AI in your feed, just ignore or even block people that you deem as not valuable to you. Because if I have to be honest to you, this sort of AI generated content farms are here to stay. You will become nothing more than another check to these content farms if he wants to content, while not giving you something in return. 